Hey everyone, thanks for joining. I want to introduce what we're going to be doing here in you know, bi-weekly. Uh, today, we're going to learn more about Suresh and kind of his background, origin stories for Poet. Um, but going forward, want to invite anyone to ask questions about the company or anything that they would like to know, even about executives that will be on or Suresh. Um, but let's dive into it. Um, usually like to kick off pretty early, kind of early backgrounds, um, even before um, Poet. Um, up to you, Suresh, you want to kick it off? Uh, some people start right after school. Some people just start, you know, a few years ago. It's up to you. Hey, um, thank, thanks for taking the time and uh, thanks for the opportunity. Um, listen, I mean, I, um, you know, I did my bachelor's back in India. I think finished in 1987 uh, and came to the United States in 87. I joined Purdue. Um, you know, almost about the time Bengals were in the Super Bowl the last time, which was 88, <laughs> right? So it's been a, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I you know, it's it's been that long. Um, I finished my master's and my PhD at Purdue University, uh, joined Motorola back in 1991. And I was at Motorola for a long time, um, uh, till, till 2010. I mean, and, and in the meantime, it uh, it split uh, its semiconductor division into Freescale Semiconductor. Um, I was there primarily in technology development through my entire career. Um, worked on a variety of different technologies. Uh, was extremely proud of uh, being part of the team to deploy copper technology into the industry for the first time ever. Silicon on insulator technology into the industry for the first time ever. Um, a bunch of new firsts in the non-volatile memory space. Um, so yeah, I had a good ride at Motorola and then Freescale. In 2010, I joined Global Foundries, um, initially driving the technology development activities at the leading edge. So this was, um, you know, 28 nanometer, 20 nanometer, 14 nanometer technology uh, at its new fab in, uh, in upstate New York. And then I was uh, in charge of all technology development for Global Foundries worldwide, including its operations in uh, Dresden, Germany, as well as in uh, Singapore. And so I've been familiar with technologies of all sorts over my past 30 years. Uh, in 2015, you know, after we uh, introduced 14 nanometer technology, um, you know, I, I wanted to go do something different. I'd been in uh, silicon semiconductor technology scaling for a long time and and i really wanted to take um, you know my learning and uh, and what i had learned in technology scaling uh over the period of 30 years and apply it to a completely different field an opportunity at poet uh was brought to my attention by my previous boss at global foundries ajit manocha who was uh uh, the chairman um, at, at Poet Technologies at that time. And, and I was asked to come and take a look at A, the technology, and B, you know, are there opportunities to commercialize it? And I thought um, this would be a very interesting opportunity to take what I've learned and apply it to a completely different field, in this case, optics. And so um, about middle of 2015, I, um, you know, I left Global Foundries, I joined Poet, and, and I've been with Poet since, uh, you know, working to commercialize what, uh, what we've been developing at this company. And it's been uh, a great ride, very, very exciting uh, for what we're doing. Again, um, you know, um, new technology has always excited me. Um, new firsts into the industry has always excited me. And, and, uh, and, and at Poet, we have the opportunity to do it all over again with uh, brand new technology being introduced into the industry for the first time ever in its form and, um, and hope to make a splash with it. Yeah, awesome. Well, that's a great time to say anyone with tech questions, please drop them below. Um, but okay, really interesting. Uh, my question for you, how did you get the, you know, you go from your previous job to now you're the CEO. Walk me through how it came from, hey, have a look at the tech, let us know what you think to now you're the CEO running the running the ship. Yeah, you know, um, you know, this, 
Yeah, I mean, we are a small company. You know, when I was at Global Foundries and I was running technology development, I had thousands and thousands of people reporting to me globally. And, you know, we're <laughs> down to, you know, 50 now. So from that perspective, running an organization of any size uh, is all about leadership. It's all about strategy and vision. It's all about, you know, getting the right people on the bus uh, at the right time and steering the ship in the right direction. So, those are traits that I have uh, learned over my time and career, and um, and it's it's no different here at Poet. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, we're a public company. Um, there are um, you know new responsibilities and new requirements associated with uh, investors, investor relations, um, and you know obviously that aspect was new to me. It um, there was a bit of learning on the job as well uh, as as we went along, but. Uh, I'm happy to have a great team uh, with me and that have uh, been able to help me, you know, uh, navigate through, you know, what we've needed to do. Uh, the tech side of things, the business side of things, the customer engagement side of things. I mean, you know, it they energize me. Um, you know, I have no issues with uh, with working through that. So, you know, there, there are things... Uh, um, the, being a CEO, you have to be the best salesperson for the company ever. Uh, I mean, so um, that that is different, but it's something that I have been doing uh, even through my career in Global Foundry. So it, that that uh, was not a, a big uh, bridge for me so to cross. So what is the, and interesting, what's the big difference uh, from going from thousands of employees, you know, reporting to you to, you know, you say here, 50 uh, you know, are you wearing more hats? You, you know, you're kind of mentioning there's a lot of other little responsibilities along the way, but curious, like, what would you say are the big differences? Well, um, you know, I'm a detail oriented person. Um, so, you know, in a sense, um, you know, I am, I, you know, I'm in the details, even, even within the, the context of a large organization. Um, so the operational cadence um, is, is similar. Um, you 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 establish that with a hierarchy in a large company, uh, but you establish that you know more one on one in a smaller company. Definitely, you wear a lot of hats. I mean, I've uh, you know I'm in the lab when I have a chance to be in the lab um, inspecting wafers myself, and 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 you know that's that's good. You so you do you get you do get to get a, a far more into the details. Um, uh, but it's it is uh, wearing wearing all all the hats. You know, I'm I'm a technician one day and I'm a CEO the next hour. Um, so it 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 does uh, it 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 is you 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 span the spectrum in a small company for sure. Yeah, and I obviously want to thank you for taking the time to do these. I know uh, you know busy wearing a ton of hats as the CEO, but I appreciate you taking the time to do little videos like this. And again, want it to be interactive. Anyone with questions, please drop them below. Um, you know, kind of back, I, I guess, really my last question for you and the, the video about you is anything you want people to know, um, you know, whether it's about your kind of professional career or personal background that, you know, you'd love to throw in a little video about you? Well, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm a very pace setting kind of leader, uh, I would say. Uh, I, I think, uh, you know, I, I, I'd like to set the pace for the team and, and uh, you know, work with them to ensure that, you know, we deliver on our promises. Um, you know, new technology is, is, is unpredictable at times. And, you know, so uh, being able to navigate through um, uh, unintended uh, consequences of certain actions are, are critically a part of the job. And, and so, a specific leadership style that uh, that I adopt, especially with a smaller team, you know, works well for that. Um, you know, I'm passionate about golf. When I can, I do get out on the golf course and and hit a few balls. And um, What's you know, the handicap? outside of that, um, <laughs> uh, you know, I have insane work ethics. Um, so I and I, you know, um, I think my team would think I don't sleep at all, uh, but I do. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, but it's, it's all good. You know, it's, it's, um, it's been a fantastic journey and I can't, uh, ask for anything more. Yeah. Look, love it. Obviously you can see the passion, you know, love, clearly you love to build things, which is going to be awesome. So looking forward to doing more of these, but you know, thanks so much for joining and looking forward to doing another one in the next couple of weeks. Great. Thank you.